Good girl. Thank you too. Go ahead. Go get up. Good girls. You ready to film? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll start. As you can see, the girls are very <laughs> ready to film. But hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. I know normally I'm not like hair done, etc. on this channel, but I had an event this morning, so I actually look like a real human, which is exciting. But as you can see, we have a bark box here and two very excited puppies. This is the September bark box. It blows my mind that it is somehow already September. I'll go ahead and take the tape off of here. And then while I'm doing that, if you haven't already, hit that like button down below and hit subscribe and the bell. We do a lot of really fun dog forward content, but also just health and wellness in general. Miki. So if you want to see more of us, that works, but we are going to go straight into this bark box, mainly because it has been sitting by the front door for a very long time and the puppies want to see what's in. Do you want to, do you want to help open it, Nico? <laughs> so I never know what theme this is going to be. I'm wondering if it's maybe something to do with back to school because it is September. Um, Miko, can, can you not stand on me, please? Get back up there. Thank you. So let's go ahead and find the description, which is probably in the bottom. Uh -uh. So it is a bark guide, must squeak TV. This season's hottest new shows, toys, treats, and a chew you won't want to miss. Oh, and there's like a crossword puzzle and the seasons must watch with your dog. Don't touch that dial. So looks like it's gonna be television themed, which is cute, huh puppies? Okay, first thing that comes out is That's a Beef Steak, steak Sticks. Um, beef recipe dog treats with chickpeas and spinach. Wheat-free, soy-free, corn-free, and grain-free. Nico, I really like this top, so you can't drool on it. Come on. Sit. I had someone um, on my last Bark Box say that I should go ch get Miko checked um, to see if she's sick or not. Miko doesn't drool in general. She drools when she gets, she's very, very food motivated. So this is not an everyday occurrence. This is a Bark Box occurrence. Okay. You, you drooled in my hair, Mickey. Oh, the one time I actually like fix my natural curls and I get dog drool in them. Okay, we're gonna go to, what are you? Healed handbag. I don't quite understand how this is, has anything to do with television. Oh my goodness, I totally missed the mark. Yes, this is a bark guide, but the actual sheet that I usually do last describes what's going on. So, real house pets, Grey's Anatomy, the Bachelemer? I have absolutely no idea how that is a dog. Um, kitchen Trash Cook-Off, My Slow Crawled Life, and Law and Utter. So... There are going to be a bunch of different television shows, etc. So this doesn't have anything to do with specifically TV, but it is a bag, aka the Real Housewives. I actually don't watch reality TV, so I've never seen an episode outside of like hanging out with girlfriends on the couch at someone's house that's not mine. But we have a bag that has a phone and a lipstick inside, and on the inside there's a print of like skinny girl margaritas. Um, keys, all of that fun stuff, and then it's crinkle paper, and then it has two squeakers. What do you think? How about you? Yeah?
will you, will you sit down? So we, um, apparently Nico likes this one. Here, you can, Nikki, sit, sit. Excuse me. Sit down here. Okay, next we have the second and last toy in the box, which is Caddy Von de Claw. So this has got to be another um, like Real Housewives thing, maybe? Or maybe the, the Barkshore or whatever. But it is a cat with <laughs> hair and a little dress on. And it looks like there's one of those squeaky balls on the inside of this. And it has crinkle paper as well in the head and up here and in this little dress. Sometimes I absolutely love the Bark Box toys. This one, I'm like, man, that one can be in the donate pile. So you guys aren't gonna mess it up. That is gonna go over here and we're gonna donate that one because I just don't think it's, Nikki, you can't, no. Get back up here. You can keep the, the pocketbook, but you cannot keep that one. All right, next we have Mad About Chew. It's a beef patty dog treat. 100% actually looks like a beef patty, aka what they excrete when they go to the bathroom. But it is 50% minimum protein. It looks like it's just beef. Yeah, it's 100% beef. And then last but not least, we have Piggy Puffs Pork Recipe Dog Treats. They're light and crunchy. Looks like this is their version of popcorn. Nico, get on that side. So once again, wheat-free, soy-free, corn-free, and grain-free. And um, first ingredient is barley flour. Back up. You're being particularly bratty. What do you think about these? These actually look, if you have ever been around a kid that they eat those like little puffs when they're first learning how to like eat solid food, that's what these look like. And it's the same kind of like puffy texture. Do, do you not like that Tinkerbell? She has eaten it and then spit it out like three times. Oh, there we go. Maybe? Tinkerbell is very, very picky. It's okay, you don't have to like it, that's okay. <laughs> so, obviously these aren't always hits all the time and that is totally fine, but we'll go ahead and put those aside as well. You are looking to get your own Bark Box um, for your pup. You can go to BarkBox.com slash TinkAndMeek or use the code TinkAndMeek. It changes every month saying like what you get off and percentages wise and all of that. Are we, are we doing high fives? But we're going to go ahead and finish this up. This, is, uh, this was quick and fun. But if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. But we will see you guys again soon. Bye. Girls, can you say goodbye? Say goodbye. No? Please? Say goodbye. Oh. Good girl. All right, high vibes? <laughs> Bye.